Hi everyone, this is Austin behind Origami Guy 04. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool twist container from a pentagon, and this is how you open it. So you just release these five flaps. And then you open it up, just like this. And you can stick a gift in there, and close it back up. and it stays nice and locked. So I'm gonna show you how to make this, and this is from a pentagon of paper, and special for my members only. I'm gonna show you how to make this variation. This is a star, and it's on a container, and this is also from a pentagon, and this is how you open this one. See, so you can get to there, and close it back up. How cool is that? And I actually like this one way more, because it looks way cooler. And in a couple weeks, I'm gonna show you to make this new model I just designed. This is a tree, and it's 3D, and this is from two sheets of paper. So if you want to learn this model, click right here when that tutorial is available. Alright, let's learn how to make this origami container. So ready, set, here goes. Alright, so to fold this model, you need a pentagon, and I have a separate video showing how to get this pentagon from a square, right here. Alright, so, begin with the white side up, and we're going to fold this edge up so these two points touch these two creases. Right, let me turn one light off. You'll probably see it better. There. So these two corners touch these two creases that hit these two corners. And you want to do that five times. And do not fold all the way across. Just fold just in between these two creases. Like that. Now repeat that four more times. Okay, now we're going to do is we're going to make some pleats. So we're gonna start right here on the raw edge. So make this crease a mountain fold. And you wanna fold it so the fold hits the corner right there. And this point needs to be touching this crease. Oh, better turn that light on. All right. All right, and once you got it, you can go inside here and crease sharply. Like that. Okay, now you can let it go. Well, actually, no, don't let it go yet. Uh, you want to make the, this crease now. Fold right on that point right there, the corner. And the guide mark on this one's a little bit different. So this one you want to fold. So you're folding on the corner, and you want you want this fold we're making to align with this corner right under it. So this is what it looks like. See? So those two corners align and crease sharply. All right, now you can let those go, and you want to repeat that process on the other four sides. And here we go. So start right here on the, the side. All right, and now once you got all the creases done, now we're ready to collapse it. So make sure that all the creases are formed. And now what you want to do is just kind of hold it like this, and just take your fingers and just bring everything in like this. And it should pretty much happen on its own. Like that. I hope that wasn't too confusing. But yeah, it just pretty much will happen on its own. Just make all those creases at the same time. And you'll get something like this. And here's the container. Well, it's not quite done yet. We still need to lock it. So, to lock it, this is what you need to do. So, what you want to do is... So, notice how the corners here... There's five tall corners. And there's five shorter corners. So grab one of the shorter ones and just kind of make it like this so you have access to the space and take this edge and you want to fold it to that crease. And then crease that sharply. Alright, and then now just kind of press it like that so it stays locked. And that's how you do it. And now repeat that five more times. So on the shorter flaps. Alright, so once you have this, you can close it. Still. And what's cool about it is that it actually stays closed. Pretty cool like that. And alright, so that's the container. And you might just want to keep it like this because this is nice and clean. So if you want to make it like this now, I, I like it way better like this because it's cleaner, like I said. But uh, And in a demo tutorial, 
I'm gonna show you how to make it extra locked like this. And I'll put that video right here. But yeah, so there it is. Well, I hope you guys were able to follow this video and enjoyed making this container. And make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys later. All right, so stay tuned for the addendum tutorial on how to lock it like this. All right, I'll put it up ASAP. Okay, see you guys later.